scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Lord, we give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for the gift of your presence. This is all that we have. This is all that we have, your presence. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mighty one of Israel. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, sing Emmanuel, Emmanuel. The mighty one in the midst of his people doing wonders, or inspiring wonders. Come on, sing it to the miracle walker. Sing it to the one who can change your life. Your name is God. One more time, lift your voice and sing. Jesus blessed be the name of the Lord help us tonight oh God spirit of the living God we depend on you help us in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah greet everyone around you God bless you you're welcome Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the faithful God, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
is the mighty God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what we call it. Jehovah, you are good. Jehovah, you are good, you are kind, you are more than what people say. You are bigger than what we call you. You are greater than what we call you. You are higher than what we call you. You are better than what we call you. Jehovah, you are good, and you, you are kind, you are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are good, you are kind, you are more than what people say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray tonight and ask the Lord to touch you. Pray that his word will change you. Change us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Good to see everyone. God bless you. Praise God. I want to talk about something very, very important tonight. But first, we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 71. We'll read this scripture and we'll arise. And I want you to pray your life out within the next five minutes. And then we will teach. Because in this season, God is determined that you must be great. And no power in existence will stop it. Psalm 71, verse 21. Psalm 71. Whether you have a seat or not, I want you to just concentrate because the power of God will touch you. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. That's what will happen to you tonight. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. I will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over my soul. Ready? Psalm 71, verse 21. One to read. One more time. One more time. jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say lord this is your word you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere you will increase my greatness you will increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Thou shall increase my greatness. This is your word for me. I receive it. You receive. You increase my greatness financially. You increase my greatness career-wise. Go ahead and prophesy and say, Lord, 
you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness oh you will increase my greatness i will be higher than i am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness pray tonight god is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season he said thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me Lord we receive your word as a house you will increase our greatness 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 hallelujah isaiah 54 isaiah 52 54 isaiah 54 i'll read verse 1 you read verse 2 and then we'll read verse 3 together sing O barren thou that didst not bear break forth into singing and cry aloud thou who did not travel with child for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife said the lord verse 2 are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit nothing limits me pray inside and outside I'm breaking forth. This is the word of the Lord. I'm breaking forth. On the left, breaking forth. On the right, I'm breaking forth. 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 In the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth. We are breaking forth by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 47. Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata, zike preti shabala daba kanda preti shata. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life. It's time to move to the next level. It's time to move to the next level break barriers break barriers break barriers ancestral barriers break limitations that came with your lineage i prophesy to you rise up this is your season for your head to be lifted up this is your season you will shine like the star you will shine like the star rise up to your destiny answer the prophecy of your name i prophesy to you arise shine your light is come in this season arise shake up the dust arise stop crying 
time is your season to shine the gentiles will come to your light they are kings to the brightness of your rising i prophesy you are marked for shining arise and shine somebody is leaving his current level let me tell you listen i prophesy to you that the level you are now there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ and when they saw Saul, they said he saw also a prophet. What suddenly happened? A man who left as a houseboy returned back with an anointing. I pray in the name that is above all names. Those who have laughed at you, this is the season they will see the glory of God arise. Those who have mocked your God, I prophesy this is the season you will arise. Those who have said it's impossible, may the hand of my God lift you from where you are to where you need to be. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph, a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for joseph tonight my god is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arise the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for god's people 11 times 11 times i have never had such an experience 11 times the lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why i came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say lord this is it this is my word i take it i receive it it is my word ezekiel 47 i'll just share this and we'll pray i want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen it says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth its word he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters 
and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ hold hands with somebody and we're going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting. Go ahead and prophesy. It's my season of lifting. It's my season of breaking forth. It's my season of life. It's my season of dominion. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Prophesy, break it forth in every area of your life. I'm breaking forth spiritually. I'm breaking forth financially. hallelujah hallelujah let's take one more scripture revelation chapter 3 man take a babakata labakata revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 is projected are you ready one to read stop it says i know your works in other words i've been watching you although things are not working i watch the way you praise me through the pain he said i know your works and as a result behold see i have set before you an open door he said no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it hey. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight oh yes you set before me an open door an open door we still pray through more scriptures Isaiah 45 Isaiah 45 I'll read verse 1 and 2 and then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart Isaiah 45 thus said the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. He says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. 
Sekete baba baba. Amprende sekene bakaria da baba baba. He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray. And say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead. And you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, pray, Koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. The last scripture, Isaiah 43. Hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power? They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. And they are extinct, they are quenched as a weak. Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. Forget about who said what. Forget about what did not work. Are you hearing me? Forget about the result of yesterday. Forget about what the doctor said. He said, remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Why? Verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Oh yes, he will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And streams in the desert. I like you to lift your voice and say lord i forget about the failures of yesterday i forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of jesus what the lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment I remember not the failure go ahead and prophesy it's a new season god is doing a new thing god is doing a new thing receive it as a prophecy hallelujah May your ears hear it. May your eyes see it. And may your hands handle it. I prophesy one more time. May your ears hear about it. May your eyes see the miracle. And may these hands that are lifted, may these hands handle it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give God a shout of praise and be seated. Thank you Jesus once in a while God gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief hallelujah thank you Jesus one of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit 
one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of God is a system that is built on definite structures for me that was the ultimate confirmation that God is a just God hallelujah the Bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom ends the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of Jesus Christ so tonight I want to share with us something when the Lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness I knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that God is doing hallelujah thank you Jesus you will be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ tonight I want to share a very simple spiritual principle and I will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness i want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to work it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is God's desire for them to experience the blessings of God to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of God to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good 
but I, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards God towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that God himself called one of the names of God is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of God I remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of God hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please I want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah matthew 25 matthew 25 very interesting parable that jesus gave
verse 14 jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the bible is not a storybook the bible is the wisdom of god and if you follow through especially the teachings of jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them I, is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant it means they had a period of time when they were serving him and while they served him he kept watching and on the strength of his judgment and his findings next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one he says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 he says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou hast been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings I gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level 
enter thou into the joy of the Lord. 22. He who had received two talents came and said, you did this and that and that. Verse 23. The Lord said unto him also, same word, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over what? This is Jesus teaching. He's teaching us how the kingdom works. Let's see what happened to the third person. 24. And he which had received the one talent came. Look at the guy. This is the one talent guy now. Just, just watch carefully. He said, Lord, that's him talking now. After a long time of God entrusting him with an anointing. After a long time, God gave him five members. And gave him one year. And kept watching what he was doing with the five members. Are you getting my point? He kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now he says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your team wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent ah. let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown. what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful he says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three 
were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadijat giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you you say it's only a matter of time I'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how God blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of God is someone hearing what I'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light I'm sure they are working on it hallelujah it's a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus <laughs> let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh uh unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful god you said you should have blessed her and god is saying leave me alone i'm the one who sees the heart of men listen if god does not lift anybody leave them there are you getting what i'm saying many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people you see a man of god and you say after two years your church is still five members Abba, oh god boy, you are anointed you are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there I know why I kept five people. Then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious. And God blesses the person. I say, God, this thing, I think we need to coordinate this. God is saying, Who is the Lord? Is somebody learning something tonight? Say faithfulness. Say it again faithfulness. The blessings of God always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you 
the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god i say hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i am must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful I've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there emmanuel amechi ani i'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem she be you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card 
your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to him i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga, they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord and that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism see i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power Haba, I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want and god is watching god is saying look at this is the level of grace that i gave you and this is what you are doing with it remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying Weak, wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. you are there grumbling and god is watching you hallelujah do you know god watches your works as you serve as you are faithful god gave you a little level when i started out i didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if i started like this line upon line faithfulness i remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that god has called you in the ministry and you you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of god led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place 
where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction he said i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business God gave you 50,000. You are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the 50,000. You bought clothes. You bought phone. You are shining. And you say, I'm a kingdom financier. God said, no way. You can sing songs about million. You can draw dollars on your pillow. You will never be a kingdom millionaire. But God trusts you with 50,000. And you say, Lord, out of this that you have given, your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Ogasa, this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you Are you, are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? It's a very serious message. Be faithful. Stop eyeing a high position somewhere. Be faithful. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Jesus started with a few disciples. And then there were so many people. Then there was a crowd. It didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 80 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own god gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now i see this not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks is better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it 
when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if he cannot carry people he can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking he says keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tightening let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that these these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness god gave you the opportunity to play keyboard you don't rehearse you are not serious you are not improving yourself you are there angry with anybody who can see there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness we never appreciate what gives what god gives us we always want more and we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see i used to think i like food is a lie i don't like food lack everybody say lack there is a there is a way luck can hit you it will create lust in you anything you see it must finish before you rest that's what was happening to me listen the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with god if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure People lie everywhere say I ask them where are they walking say I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction what is the name is it a construction company I shot Abuja and uh, Zaria so what are you doing now I came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's a construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem he should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a wivon of one five no problem no problem 
I can plant. I'm using my natural hair, but I love God and I'm faithful. I won't follow any man because of money. My God will give it to me. One of the miracles God did in my life is that I never, this craving, this craving for material things that you see somebody and say, oh God, if you don't take me there, no. One day I went to buy a suit and somebody said, this is the fashion in town. I said, I don't know who are the day. I will buy what I want. Don't put any pressure on me. Who are the day? What fashion? Where? I buy what is good. I buy what I like. I pay for it. If I cannot pay for it, I go and wait patiently. Many of us, there are shops you cannot pass right now. You have eaten almost one quarter of everything there. Your money is not enough to buy it, but you must buy it. Every time you pass, I want black currants. How much? 600. How much do you have? 59. Say, Just give me. Because we cannot be faithful at this level. Everybody say, I receive grace to be faithful. Refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested God said no way these are not the kind of people I'm not looking for warriors on the throne I'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that I mean to to lead but when you stand here huh and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like i'm speaking about myself or it's not me <laughs> who asked you say i receive grace to be faithful god wants to increase us financially but what have you done with the finances that god has given you you keep wasting money around throwing money everywhere doing things that do not glorify God and then you stand and believe that God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you and then you see God bless someone else and you are like ah God I receive grace to be faithful Lord I thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said I, I rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper God is speaking to someone tonight I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing I gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of God. Not because they are not titan, but they are not faithful. They are not faithful at all. The members raise offering. The men of God misuse the money. They do anything they want to do with it. The man of God is celebrating a birthday party. And they, they waste so much amount. And the ministry is just starting. They don't have that kind of money. 
you see that and we put pressure women of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness is seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful god gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell you say is it my property this big you is it my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming say let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation and god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life i remain a servant serving the house of god forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi Some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go. You say, no, let them not know that 
I didn't come with my car. And you start explaining to everybody, my car was faulty. Who asked you? Enter the bus and go home. Enter the bus and go home. Everybody knows you are still rising. There is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there. We are all young people rising. It's just that some are faster than others. What's the embarrassment about? Somebody comes to your room and it's only Gary you have. You are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself. Bring it out and say, this is what I have. God is faithful. The day you buy a recharge card, Lord, I thank you. I could afford a recharge card. The day you buy a fridge, see, don't be embarrassed. Let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of God. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassion they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady. You don't want to fall your hand. That is foolishness of the highest order. The person who played the fatherly role of Jesus was a carpenter. Are you getting my point? Get this childishness out of your life. There are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people is better than prostitution is better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira it's small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god use clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will I now begin to sell used clothes? Oh Lord, you are falling my hands. And God will say, you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom. Some of you, are, you are not in any unit, not in your church, not in Koinonia. You don't serve, you don't do anything. Your job, and you've been coming here for a long time. Your job is to sit down, watch others, and complain about what is not done. Do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would liars with decoration Please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of God nobody needs to know you see take what I'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show God that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of God faithfulness God gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of God you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of God and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of God 
I tell you, Papa Adeboye, till today, he travels around the world. What's that thing that they play? Tambourine, right? He carries his tambourine. Among the, the world's hundred most influential people, it has not changed him. He takes his tambourine. Whenever he goes to a place, no matter who you are, he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here. I choose to be faithful. I will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level. That's why you can listen to a man. It's not like he has so much rema or he has so much, but he will just say, may God increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness. And some people will come on, on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody. This is the place of the anointing. You will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness. This morning, I was just worshipping and I said, Lord, will you bless your people? Worship was just playing. Early in the morning, and I was crying tears were coming out I said Lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting God a lady came in from just I'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said I'm tired of what is happening in my life how could I come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why I take this work that God has given because I know that before I was born God has been blessing people and if I'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you Dr. Paul and Encher said it is God who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks I'm the only one God will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking God cannot do without you that is a big deception oh God can do without Joshua Selman God forbid if I die today I ah, yes you will cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that I say I wouldn't die say oh, he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, by the time you finish the fight something will... <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh Lord I have no business in all of this nonsense. My desire is to serve you. My one desire is that you be praised. Is that you be praised. I tell you, that's, that's my desire. That you be praised. And I will be faithful in doing this. My one desire is that you be praised. That you be praised. That you be praised. You want the anointing, be faithful. You want greater levels, be faithful where you are right now. Whatever department you are working, be faithful. Stop complaining. Stop finding fault. Contribute your quota. And God who sees what you are doing. God gave us a word that he's lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days God is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah I told him Lord Whatever will change my faithfulness in service, whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is Joshua Selman and all the great works he has done. Oh, may it be far from me. If there is any prayer you will pray for me, don't pray that God should give me money. Don't, don't pray all those things. They will come naturally. Pray and say, Lord, give him focus. Never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall. Ministry, you want this. You want branches. 
oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that God can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because God will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes I worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where 
are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them math you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and uh, xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come i know when oh god listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan worked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful the clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience i always preach and i say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride 
made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah whatever it is that you desire the bible says and whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou will have it so tonight you are the one that knows the problem don't wait for your neighbor to receive for you as the word of the lord begins to come don't wait until your case is called the calling of the cases of people is just sign a sign and a wonder the bible says jesus was in the room teaching and the power of god was present to heal just like the glory and the power of god is present this night to heal to deliver there are many of you you have been oppressed by all kinds of demonic spirits you want to move forward there are strongholds keeping you down there are strongholds hear me please keeping many families down you do everything you know to do and there's no advancement everybody every lady in the family no marriage pretty lady no marriage it's not like you live the promiscuous life that devil will bow this night are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you no job everybody in your family you went to school suffered for years nothing to show forth for it acts 10 38 he said how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost 
and with power the bible says he went about doing good and healing it didn't say those who were sick healing all day that were oppressed sickness is an oppression are you hearing what i'm saying that terminal disease is an oppression tonight don't give excuse for anything it's not your sickness are you hearing what i'm saying it's not your hiv yes you have medical reports but whose report will you believe tonight that's the question whose report will you believe whose report make up your mind some of you they have concluded about you as you are here right now scattered in this crowd inside and outside there are many of you everybody has concluded about you they said just forget this guy or forget this lady the person is a useless person but the bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut down at the scent of water let me tell you something many of you because of certain things you have done like samson your hair has been cut this is the place tonight that that hair will grow back he said rejoice not over me my enemies for though i fall yet will i rise again are you listening to me this is the place the bible says son of man what seest thou he said four horns these horns that have lifted up themselves so that no one will lift up his head in judah he said but i will send carpenters carpenters hallelujah there are many of you pronouncements and ordinances of wicked men have been decreed over your family that nothing good will come out of your life and nothing good will come out of your family the bible says who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the lord has not decreed it are you hearing what i'm saying there are many of us victims of all kinds of satanic assaults ordinances and covenants of darkness that have been entered and many of us are suffering things we have no idea of but the bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers tonight god will visit you are you hearing what i'm saying god will visit you uh, some of you here you are tired struggling like my brother shared with all kinds of habits you're a man of god great woman of god but pornography will not live your life you have you have fasted you have prayed as you are fasting the devil is still mocking you hallelujah you are still fasting you are breaking the fast with sleeping with somebody you are it's not like you are bad that devil is a liar this night because the hand of the lord will be strong upon you are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you everything you lay your hands to do doesn't work it will keep working for others till it gets to your turn. make sure as you are receiving tonight hear me every one of us is representing at least a family are you listening to me he said as for me and my house they didn't call all of them one by one somebody stood in the gap as for me that terminal disease eating your father or your mother he can bow this night because the bible says wherefore god has so highly exalted him he said and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name what will happen how many knees how many knees help me how many knees hiv cancer every knee must bow the knee that will not bow this night has not been created are you hearing me the bible says blotting out every handwriting question where was the handwriting written there are handwritings ordinances of darkness nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age suddenly some things begin to happen some of you as you are sitting looking at me and hearing me outside you are being molested by all kinds of things you are sleeping in the night all kinds of devilish things oppressing you you are afraid nobody knows see this night let me tell you just humble yourself and open up your spirit are you hearing me keep your whatever it is and say lord do something in my life this night 
Hallelujah. Demonic things. The devil and his assaults joining the heads of people, playing with people's destinies. There are many of you, you and your, you know this, you and your, you are perpetually living under a closed heaven. But this is why the Lord brought you tonight. The name miracle service, we would have called it worship service. Miracle service was given by God. Are you hearing me? It was just, it was not just a name that was formulated. It's a miracle service. And your faith, your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of God. Kenny said something, was it Kenny or, or, or Pastor Jakes now that said something? Very powerful. He said, make sure that this night you are not watching other people. Some of you like watching other people. Some of you even came because of what you had. Some of you are critics. You just came to verify a lot of things. Some of you came with a sincere desire. Some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said, I'm going for koinonia. I said, oh, love does everything. Let me tell you something. Redefine your priority this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are coming as usual. Some of you are coming because you are workers. He said, he that cometh unto him must be first that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him i came here with an open heart i began to tell the lord from home i said lord i'm the first person the bible says the husband man shall be the first partaker and so i told the lord before you begin to touch the people i'm not being selfish hallelujah don't stand watching people and say why are they praying like this why are they jumping like this and celebrating god you can get up we will share the grace and you will go back you will be watching this is this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one every time people are open say how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say god visit me you are carrying your dignified self and god will pass you and touch somebody and then at the end of it, you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs. Testimony is coming and you say it's not true. Why is it that there are only specific people? This thing is stage managed. If you open up your heart, that's what God told Cain. Cain was complaining why Abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving. God said, if you do what Cain did, will your sacrifice not be accepted? Participate in the meeting this night follow instructions diligently when they say lift up your hands and say amen don't say please this lifting up of hands this is the problem say my story must change this night say it from your heart my story must change this night say lord i know you are alive i know you are powerful i know you are able to visit my life Visit the works of my hands. Visit my health. Visit my family. And this night, I place a demand by faith that I will truly receive. Can I tell you something? If your heart is not open to receive, it's better to go home. You can do something meaningful with your time. You can go and read the Bible or do something else. But I advise you this night, don't be among the spectators. If you don't have an expectation, carefully think about it. There's no crime not having one. But get one. So that you are not in confusion. The Bible said, give us this day our... It didn't say, give us this day what we need. That's too ambiguous. Give us when? Specific time, specific need. Our what? That's what he wanted. Daily bread. So Lord, give me this day, this change of genotype. Give me this day a change of result. Give me this day a story. Lift my head, oh God. Let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family. There are some of you like Gideon. You are, your family is the least. And you are the least in your family. 
and you are busy hiding this night the lord is speaking to you what are you doing on the ground almighty oh, man of valor do you not know who you are in christ redemption offers us an opportunity to rise and reign like kings are you hearing me he said awake thou that sleepest and christ will give you light awake as that reign of glory comes some of you what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace the grace you have is there but you have gotten to the limit of it there are certain dimensions hear me let me tell you something see grace is in levels the bible says he measured a thousand cubits is that true measured another thousand cubits those will open to you according to the degree of grace let me tell you the truth it's not everything that is possible for everybody are you hearing me i told you we are all equal in christ but we are not equal in grace the prophet servant took the rod the same rod went and laid it on the dead body nothing happened is that true but the prophet came and did it see that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in christ but tonight jesus himself the bible says and if i be lifted up tonight we have exalted him with all the worship christ is lifted up you cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles and they bound something some of us have been bound by limitations by mindsets the bible says but the hand of the lord came upon something and that rope became like wax like wax many of you will shake out of some things this night some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion and people have forgotten about you but can i tell you something your enemies will call your name and you will answer you will say i'm alive i got into that dungeon but before then that shekinah of god that preserves men you will come out strong come out wise come out powerful come out full of grace and tell them i have a testimony i know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death but god who can take a man from a dung hill the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon tonight many of you will activate breakthroughs god will connect you let me tell you something listen to me the holy ghost gave me a revelation some time ago he said god is called the father of spirits have you ever known the meaning of that name that means every spirit is subject to him when the disciples came in luke in the book of luke they said they came rejoicing saying master even the demons were subject to us through thy name and jesus said do not just rejoice because the spirits so he's called the father are you listening to me the chief the captain above every spirit including the spirit of your destiny help us and so if the father of spirits moves he can move any spirit hear me the bible says nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night he got up by himself he said oh daniel has your god been able to save you may my god reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families the father of spirits every spirit listen harpalists understand this principle they can enter their coven there's what they call summoning the spirits of people is that true while they are sleeping they summon your spirit and the spirit of the person comes to the coven they are trying to mimic god god is the lion satan roars like the lion tonight god will summon the spirits of men let me tell you the truth and compel them to bless you hallelujah he said look up to abraham your father and unto sarah that bear thee for i called him out alone i blessed him and i increased him i called him alone this night is not you and your neighbor i know you are going out together just leave that thing for a while now are you hearing me 
it's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members oh, oh this guy is our neighbor in new extension forget about that thing i know mother came with father but forget about that thing i said lord i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open i will not let you go i will not let you go i'm provoking you to get angry tonight because what you are about to lift listen when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights before they lift it you see them shouting they are getting themselves angry well because when they are angry an ability they cannot explain comes this is what i'm doing to you when i fire your faith every unbelief that came with your situation i know you trek from town to come here but can i tell you something god is able to change the story of a man tonight let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child let's see that demonic report that says you have fibroid and that you will be pregnant let me tell you the truth my bible tells me god opened the womb of leah god opened the womb of rachel it is god that opens a door that no devil can shut and he can shut a door that no devil can open revelations 3 verse 8 he said behold i know that you have little strength yet you have kept my word he said behold i set before you i set before you hallelujah we had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of god hallelujah someone called us and a very professional web designer from gombe state is the one that he designs for state governments their websites and he just called us he said koinonia messages have been blessing him opening him to dimensions in the spirit he said he has been stepping into new levels in his career and he said please i want to transport myself foot my bill lodge myself and come and build a free website for the ministry and i want to train the media team on how to maintain it everything free of charge how can you explain this see listen listen i don't say this thing see let me tell you something we tell testimonies because the testimony of jesus that means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the christ is a spirit of prophecy meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life hallelujah the testimony of jesus the spirit of prophecy don't sit down there and say can it happen you are seeing what god you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and it's not working in your life get angry this night get angry he said i and all the children that the lord has given me get angry when they saw the apostle they said he had been with jesus see listen let me tell you this night don't you ever hear me don't you just leave him leave him don't you ever are you hearing me try to make satan make you think there is no hope that language of there is no hope is of the devil some of you are outside hear my voice because there are many voices speaking there are some voices telling you you will never marry ladies hear me some are saying because you live the past life look at how it is in your house what is your business with what has happened to mr abc the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side is that true they fell near you he said another ten thousand by your right side he said none shall harm you some of you hear me this night i'm serious about this marriage thing we are going to break this devilish yoke some of you have been laughing about it if you don't take it serious this night you will be surprised you are just saying i'm fine i'm fine don't get up and deal with it this night. The 
the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness don't let cartoons fool you this world is not a playground are you hearing me so when it's time to receive make sure you receive and the lord is going to be restoring in this place you lived a past life you lost your womb who told you god has stopped creating read the book of revelation he said for thou was slain and you have received all things he said you have created he said they they are and were created they were created and are still being created god did not stop creation he only rested on the seventh day when he rested on the seventh day there was no need for recreation when man spoiled things he sent jesus back let me tell you something remember not the former things are you hearing me tonight don't let the devil say even you even you that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute so what see this is why when they came to the land of jericho because of the prophetic destiny are you hearing me of rahab he said kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of jesus he said destroy everything of the past tonight let me tell you something everything whether your mistakes whether your carelessness of the past the bible says remember not the former things how many of us are ready to receive tonight let me give you a few seconds right now i'd like you to think on the things you want god to do for you please don't be mechanical about this we are not doing jamboree this night think very well know what you want god to do if his husband say husband don't say a man if his wife say wife if his breakthrough say lord my heavens are short if his finances say finances if it's your ministry that is dying no growth say oh god measure a thousand cubits this night any area of your life terminal disease infections lump in your breast cancer whatever it is just believe god don't say we have been coming i came the last time i didn't receive master we have told all night they said he said nevertheless this night at thy world rise up on your feet everybody Go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute. Exercise your spirit, man. Outside. I'm telling you, I see a cloud outside. A mighty cloud. A mighty cloud. The Lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside. God will do mighty things outside. Pray in one minute. Cry out your expectation to God. Go ahead. Forget about your neighbor. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, you know that you are my last hope this night. You are my last hope in this place. If you do not help me, there is no help again. If you do not save my family, if you don't change our story, then let it be that there is no God. But I have no option again. Pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny. Pray enough is enough. That yoke of bad luck. Pray Christ has redeemed you by faith tonight. You will enter into the experience. Christ has paid the price. You don't need to pay it again. But it takes faith to enforce that which Christ has done. The price has been paid. It will not be paid this night. That ultimate price.
Yes, Lord. gates of ever let it rain let it rain open the flood gates of ever this is not just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying let it rain let it rain Father, let it rain. Hey, hey. Let it rain. Open the Lord gates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hail you, most high. Lift your hands, everybody, inside and outside. I truly hail you, most high. I hail you, most high. I truly hail you. Hail you. Hallelujah. Hear me. The power of God is present in this place, mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me. Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness every curse every the power of god is already moving every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout Jesus hear me the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands Thank you, Father. Take over this meeting right now, Holy Spirit. Take over this meeting. Take over this meeting. Do mighty things. I give you all the glory. At the count of three, hear me. I confront gates. I confront powers. In the name that is above all names. Out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house. At the count of three, every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the holy ghost you will bow at the count of three one two three shout jesus that devil of darkness come out let god's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every act of witchcraft. Every act of divination. 
every act of sorcery let the fire fall I expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Don't go to the devil. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand. Surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, this night they will scatter. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands again. Outside. Hallelujah. Hear me. Those of you outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. God is not done with you. Please, pick them and bring them. Many of it will be a mass deliverance. Are you hearing me? Just those outside. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Shetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
we are in the presence of the Lord Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, hear me. The Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire, at the count of three, you will go right now. One, two, three. Three, go, 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 come out, come out, come out, and return no more. Come out, come out, come out, and return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. There's fire upon every devil. Fire. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. There's no hiding place. Listen. As this is happening to you, I want you to know that this is happening in your family too. Are you hearing me? This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. Hallelujah. Let me pray for this lady. See, I'm seeing horns. Horns. This is what I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Right now, I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. You're a wicked, foul devil of darkness. Just lay your hands on her head. In the name of Jesus. Now, come out, thou devil of darkness. There's no hiding for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This curse of darkness is gone from this lady. Hallelujah. Ulcer. If you have ulcer, lift your hands. Anybody. Ulcer. Please, you're going to be healed now. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Now, we'll take some instant testimonies. Hallelujah. We'll take some instant testimonies. Because of time, we usually don't do that. But we'll just to encourage a few people. Lift your hands inside and outside. You're suffering from peptic ulcer. It will go now. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands. As I rebuke that spirit. Some of you have wounds. Those wounds will close up now. 
now, not later on. Just leave them. God is not done with them until he's done. Brother, look at me. You're a great man, but let me tell you, you didn't come out for yourself. You came out for your family. Where are you from? Uh -uh, not where you're coming from. Edo State. Edo State. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's kola not in the middle. Are you listening to me? So God is setting you free. You believe that? Let me pray for you for your family. Out now! Those altars of darkness be gone forever. Please don't be quick to carry them. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, altars. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That name that is above every other name. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Ulcers inside and outside be healed now. Start checking yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer. Check. Check. The moment you see a notable miracle, um, maybe we'll have a few, I don't know, maybe at the back, one or two people. The ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies. The Lord is showing who is Hanatu. Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Hanatu. You. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness spell and yokes of bondage let our family go now in the name of Jesus Christ God is not just delivering the family God is anointing this young man God will do mighty things take the anointing you will become a mighty man of God mighty man of God hallelujah sister this lady come please quickly open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain I'm hearing the name Grace look at me who is Grace I'm hearing the name Grace your friend your church member we need to pray for Grace because death wants to take her life are you hearing me grace that's i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is helping me but then the lord is going to visit you in three things see listen to me number one i the lord always shows me these things because i'm seeing marital issue are you married, no, sir. Are you married? do you know me have i met with you the lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside are you hearing me but i'm seeing shadow that's the only thing i'm seeing as your face in the spirit there is no form just shadow but the lord is going to set you free number two who is doing a building project me a building did you tell me this is the second thing god is going to do supernatural grace to complete the building project are you listening to me number three god is blessing you in the area of business i'm hearing business who does business are you sure don't just say yes or are you very sure shoes and bags okay you are going to see an escalation in your business three th these three things hold my hands father that yoke of bondage i break her free from it right now ah what is this thing that i'm seeing again do you know what i'm seeing i'm not seeing a woman i'm seeing a man See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Petrus, your son name is Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Petrus. Your son name is Petrus. Please let's hurry up. Your son name is Petrus. 
when you have that person please let him come out hallelujah now if you have problem with your ears please we have to be fast ears whether one side or if you came with anybody inside and outside you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf please put your hands there right now put your hands right there some of you feel like water in your ears just put your hands please as you're receiving miracles some of you i'm not mentioning your case just walk out bishop stan and pastor jakes are outside take the courage to walk out now go and drop your testimony hallelujah we're going to take one or two of them the ministers are at the back hallelujah they are standing even if the miracle has started they'll perfect it look at me come see brother come where were you sitting outside at the back hold on what happened to you i was sitting down outside so i've been coming here for like very well but i've not felt anything so i opened up my heart what happened what happened that's the question holy vibrating man see the lord jesus because even now god has not finished one of the things god is calling you it will be a time of preparation but god is calling you you're going to be a great teacher of the word are you hearing me he will teach the word very prophetically look at my eyes just look at my eyes spirit of revelation my God, I pray. The eye is the light of the body. Let something happen to this brother. Let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I impart upon you. Just look at my eyes. You're receiving a mighty impartation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go outside. God is visiting people. I'm seeing some, someone healed. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast is getting healed right now. Right now. The moment it is your case, celebrate God. Check it and go out. Celebrate it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is a outside. A lady is healed. Lump in the breast. Your right breast. Outside. There's healing going on right now. A lump in the breast. Outside. A lady is being healed lump in the breast is going hallelujah now blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease please lift your hands quickly quickly please lift your hands want to rebuke that devil thank you jesus thank you jesus if you're lifting your hands lift it because the power of god will come upon you right now in the name of jesus i pray blood disease be healed be healed right now inside and outside be healed HIV virus die now in the name of Jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia die right now please can we get another mic hallelujah okay let's just take one hallelujah so sir, um, this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also sorry for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact right now she's lost her voice hallelujah because god healed her wife standing outside the moment man of god said that people with ulcer god is touching them right now god touched and she was healed she began to shout and she's lost her voice hallelujah can you shout for us shout. praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord please as more miracles are happening don't just come out here to testify please now i want to pray for a woman you came you have pains it's, it's an elderly woman something i don't know if it's a growth or something please who is that please and um, please let's save time god is healing people right now and then i'm seeing watch this this part 
your feeling sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall your bone here come out you're a lady you're a lady god is showing me the lady is holding a baby this is what i'm seeing you are holding a baby whether it's your child who is that please holding a baby oh you are holding a baby where is the baby was she holding a baby because come open the flood gates of heaven where's where's the pain this is the baby this is the baby come madam you will be healed right now look at me you, you can see her limping who can see her limping can you see her limping can you see her limping madam hold my hands you believe in the power of the holy spirit lay your hands on her which of them which of them where's the pain what happened just like that that devil will leave you right now because there is a name lord jesus thank you amen come march your legs go ahead go ahead march look at look at this look at this look at this is there any pain are you feeling any pain just a little go ahead just march in the name of jesus christ now check it walk walk and come walk and come jump look at look at this give jesus a shout of praise Open the heavens, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the floodgates? One more time, everybody. Sing, let it rain. Let it rain. Open. The Lord is ministering to me. Just leave her. Five months. You are a lady here. You have not seen your period for five months. Five months. You have not seen your period. You've shared it with a few friends. Right now, this night, this night, I know there are lady ushers, they will help you. Hallelujah. All kinds of menstrual issues, it will disappear. It will disappear right now. Open the floor gates of heaven. As soon as I pray for you, take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now, that yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please, can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes, is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. This brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said she lift up her hands and those that had ulcers she lift up your hands God is healing ulcer she actually had ulcer and it translated into asthma hallelujah and while lifting up his hands what happened praise the Lord this is my first time to come here and it led to asthmatic hallelujah as the man of God says like if you have as if you have ulcer and I believe he's going to he's going to be healed and as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest, chest pain. Hallelujah. But now I'm not feeling anything. It's just as cool as... Breathe, as breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any problem? No problem. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache. Please check yourself. My grain headache, my grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning, your heart area here, your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning, this thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this way. You cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. 
this is not the only one i'm seeing a lady you're a young lady you're a young lady open the floor gates mama does she understand english who brought her mama okay what selena is a official outside interpreter ask her what's wrong with her break it down mama her hand and her leg her hand everything this is see the devil once is supposed to be from her head down this is stroke are you seeing this is stroke that the devil wants to bring tell her right now she will, she's going to be healed and she will dance miracles look at the lady who just came hallelujah you need to celebrate jesus hallelujah hallelujah while standing here worshiping god she said she's had menstrual pain for a long long time hallelujah the pain had been there and while apostle ministered to her something remarkable happened you want to hear hallelujah please we need a lady to touch her stomach she said because she were pains so we need somebody to verify now the pains are yes the pains are gone any pain hallelujah please celebrate jesus celebrate jesus check yourself don't just stand waiting check yourself god is doing miracles even if you are outside just bishop and pastor jakes are at the back mama tell her, god is going to heal her right now ask her does she believe tell her to hold my hands the lord jesus sets you free that devil gone pain gone come up tell her to come up and march it's gone it's gone look at this it's gone it's gone in the name of jesus christ open the flood gates of heaven let it rain let it rain would you open the flood gates of heaven let it rain. Let it rain. Hold on. How does she feel? Is this still is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? You, you people should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You people don't know one house song. Annie, give us one house song. Alla mungo de makaya, ubangi chikai kare kai sa ya bo. Alla mungo de makaya, ubangi chikai kare kai sa ya. Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus. Ubangi chikai sa ya bo. Oye ne me mane pi kwere mala Oye ne me mane pi kwere mala Oye ne me mane pi kwere mala God a shout of praise. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. God is doing a miracle outside. A hole in the teeth has been closed outside. A hole in the teeth. Check yourself. A hole in the teeth. A hole in the teeth. It has been paining you. Check. You find out it has is gone right now. 
right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay i've been having this great pain on my okay rip pain my heart each and every moment when i wake up in the morning it's like it shifts and it aches really for a while now this moment while I was standing right here when this woman just received her healing I felt it just happened immediately praise the Lord give God a praise hallelujah please if you are healed just walk right at the back the Lord is showing me another miracle one eye the left eye of somebody outside God is really visiting people outside the left eye you don't see well with it There's, you see like an image intercepting your eye is gone right now please check it what was she? Okay, lay your hands there. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Gone. Check yourself. See, the anointing does not just come. Check yourself. Please don't don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes. No. If it doesn't happen, say it. We'll pray for you here. Check yourself. Check yourself very well. Do what you couldn't do. Can you? any pain i'm still waiting for the lady someone the, i think the did i say left or right now breast lump breast lump is gone it's gone check it don't don't wait check check and go outside pastor jakes is there they are busy verifying people's cases inside or outside hallelujah praise the lord now um this is very interesting there's a family here that has been suffering delay and God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way wait 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 listen the power of God is going to carry the person from where he is the person will run out here with such speed this is a sign that this is what God is doing hallelujah this is what the sign that God gave me this is very interesting the way the Holy Spirit walks sign and wonders here from outside from outside the power of God will pick the person he will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit. It's a sign that this is what God is doing. Please, let's continue before the person comes out. You will come out, certainly. This is the word of the Lord. Now, I'm seeing a baby that is sick. You came with a baby that is sick. Please, who is the person? The baby cries in the night. Please hurry up quickly. Because Pastor Jakes will still come up here and Bishop Stan. Ah, whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night. Who is this? This is the baby that is sick. What's wrong with her? In 2000. Open the floodgates of heaven. 2003, she was sick, so we took her to the hospital and they transfused her. After them, she was. One more person again, this same experience for one more person outside. One more person outside is going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delay in families the power of god will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed let's listen they transfused her and after what did they say is wrong with her the doctor confirmed that she has hiv with the transfusion of blood she has hiv that's what the doctor confirmed that what She's hiv positive that devil is a liar come my dear look at me what's her name how can a girl bear the name favor and still have hiv you see how demonic satan is the bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation a lady this is like jabez but tonight like the prayer of jabez he said oh that thou wouldest bless me hallelujah you will go and test her 
you will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. She's free. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open? There's another mighty miracle. Another mighty miracle. I tell you, God is doing wonders in this place tonight. Listen. Hallelujah. Apostle, this is amazing. Listen. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the word of knowledge you gave about a woman, a lady outside with the with the lump. Lump. The lady with the lump. Listen. How okay, how long has it been? Please help us. Mm, for like three. How long? Two years. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying. Jake, they are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed feel a pain in fact there used to be like a growth check it it has disappeared check it right now it has disappeared check it it has disappeared check it god is doing mighty miracles check it it has disappeared hallelujah now i'm seeing a woman there are objects that move in your body serious objects it moves sometimes to your legs sometimes to your chest hallelujah right now as i pray you are going to be free and you find out that you are free you are feeling light please when that happens to you go down the ministers are seriously praying there father in the name of jesus this demonic thing this demonic thing this demonic yoke of darkness let it leave your body right now right now right now right now come my sister What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said Grace, I was my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again say it one more time every good and perfect gift where does it come from where does it come from that means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where i tell you the truth god is going to visit marriages right now look at me men don't come to you anybody that comes they just mock you they run away they do all of these things some even insult you can i tell you something you are wonderfully and fearfully made i hope you know that god does mighty marriage miracles in this place so when we are talking about marriage look at another miracles are happening like i tell you there is an open heaven and this is what happens once there is praise please make sure the, the mic is set let's take this testimony yes sir come sister hallelujah apostle when you gave a word for the woman you said somebody's something was moving in movement her. in her body yes, exactly she's this person. is the person movement she had an accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, sir. jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus you're free.
free, completely free. Give Jesus a big sister. I'm going to put, look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Kalongura. Eh? Kalongura. Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm saying? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing Chuck. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you did promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? Ah, wait. Come, come, come. This one is oppression. No, this one is not just. Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go, thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. Now, please, if there is a woman here, you've suffered barrenness, or a man, anything that you have not given birth, come out here quickly. Please, quickly, quickly. Bishop is still coming and Jakes, we have to hurry up. There's a big deal that will happen here. Please come out quickly. You, you must be married though, except if you are standing for somebody. Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is lack of, lack of children. You see the relevance of meetings like this? Listen to me. Who is standing for herself or for himself? For yourself. For yourself, come here, please. Quickly. Those who are standing for others, just wait. For yourself. Look at me. Are you together? She's your wife? Oh, both of you are standing for yourself. Where's your husband? He traveled. I'm seeing a baby girl. Go and write it. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. You will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. Ah! You're on his marriage. Why didn't you wait? The guy just said, okay. No, 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 no. Don't See, don't laugh. It doesn't mean you should do it anyway, but don't laugh. It's coming out. Look at me. You believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage, yeah? When, when are you, when is the wedding? Eh? Hold my hands. According to the time of life, I speak to you under the unction of the Spirit. Before the end of this month, you will be in a very godly, serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God father of spirits connect them you are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you wow mighty miracles again are happening you too you for yourself lay your hands on your stomach come because I'm seeing something else what did the doctor say Whatever that means well we shall know this is not from god whatever it is pid eid we'll pray whatever it is and see look at me wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name at least the men don't understand some of them but the ladies 
You understand what she said, Abi? Do you understand or not? We are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and you will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you and that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two this of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at. Sorry. I, this is bad. Viewers discretion. I'm sorry. Don't feel bad. We are disciplined people. But just so that we we'll celebrate God. Check. No hole. Look at this. No hole. I can't see any hole here. There was... Your teeth was removed. Two teeth. Two teeth was removed. Who knows her? Who knows her? Is it true that the teeth was removed? Who is that? Yes. Yes. It's, it's true. You are sure of that? Dorcas. Her name is Dorcas. Look at. And the teeth has been filled. Supernaturally. Give Jesus a big, Hallelujah. big hand. Big hand. Big hand of praise. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are standing for any... See, if you are standing for anybody, when you go back, send the person a text and say, I just stood in for you. Now, believe and receive. Are you hearing me? Send them a text. Don't let them roam around. You are here suffering to stand in for them. They are not connecting again. Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, And when Job prayed for his friends god turned his own captivity job 42 verse 10 and 11 let me pray for you lift your hands look at as many people lift your hands some of you the power of god will come upon you on behalf of the people there my god children the bible says are a heritage from the lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that jesus is alive right now i pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of jesus be lifted now in the name of jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members. I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Return back rejoicing. Send them a text. That they have been prayed for and let me tell you see listen hold on hold on there are some who take in but lose the child is that true lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in they take in one month two months they just wake up in the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it I pray no more miscarriage in the name of Jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus please go back rejoicing God bless you Hallelujah. 
Pastor Jake's Bishop Stan, please come. Please come. They'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes. Hallelujah. I know that there are areas that they'll minister to you. While that is happening, pass the prayer request, please. This is a time for God to visit your case. Please, as you are passing it, be praying in tongues. As you are passing it, be praying in tongues. Say, Lord, this is it. My time has come. If they didn't call you, your prayer point will call your case now. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Pastor Jake, so just minister by the grace of God. And then Bishop Stan, sir. Please write your prayer request quickly. trusting the Lord for and Lord communicates to me for some of you especially God will touch you hmm. God's going to be touching some of you especially what you've desired from him specifically so some of you God's going to be activating some anointing upon your life an unusual kind of anointing hallelujah thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head. There are people, the Lord will be pouring it upon your head. Parido, fine dan gros tiki van tahi, lingo su pratica tare boste, randa kai. One of you, the anointing will be so heavy on your leg. Heavy, heavy. They will literally have to carry you out of this place. <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place. Blessing, blessing, God is blessing some people. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessings, God is blessing you. Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Please, that person, it's a, is your pancreas. Just lay your hands on your stomach. You've been having unusual stomach pains. Your pancreas. I think pancreas should be in stomach, right? Pancreas, pancreas, pancreas. That's why I hear pancreas. Just lay your hands on your stomach. You've been having that problem. Right now, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release healing. Let healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing comes to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord's going to be touching. You feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us, and I don't know, there might be more than one. Um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream. And when you are done eating that food, you become heavy. I don't mean physically, spiritually. Let me clear this. It's possible for God to do an impartation for you. It's possible for God to do an impartation for you in the dream by giving you food, angel's bread. It's a spiritual one. But this one I'm talking about, the devil ministers it to you in the dream. And when you are done eating it, you wake up and feel less spiritual. You feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit. If you are the one, I would like to pray with you. She's one of them. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go! Thank you, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I declare freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus name thank you Jesus he will minister to you who dropped this picture what happened to the baby is dead the baby was born crippled that devil is a liar what did they say No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You are a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So as you are lifting up your hands, make sure that you are making a commitment. No sex before marriage. Don't let anybody deceive you. I'm saying it straight to the point. Hallelujah. No sex before marriage. No caressing. No, all this nonsense that people do. No, don't don't open up yourself for demons. You tie your soul with demonic things. Be sure that you are going to keep 
many Christian relationships are not pure because a lot of people think everybody is doing it no not everybody is doing it who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord who shall stand upon his own so sister just get it straight don't say yes to any brother who plans to just if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah i need to say this before i pray for you god is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with god and you've been involved in all these things i'm talking about stop it this night stop it this night hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you lift your hands father you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness and father this night i pray for your people inside and outside and our online community i declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus and I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40 no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to be, this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues <speaking in Spanish> Rapata shadoni brate kalabalush tava kesi brodi kada kada bata tasha tava rubi dani sumi na kaya na daba sata lava eka suka bini se kalabi toshi tava rubi na na zebra kapata shita lava yezani monos kupata tasha 
in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh Jehovah father of all spirits the great I am Mayida Subitronis in Amakata Sata Lisa Pata Shekabara the one that divided the Red Sea Lika Ziprata Shetebara the one that released manna Paul released manna from heaven Jehovah in the name of your son Jesus Christ I pray for miracles 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 upon this prayer request miracles visitations miracles visitation far above far above what they have written far above far above connection completion perfections in the name of jesus completions perfections in the name of jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation jehovah jehovah miracle worker upon this request breathe upon it breathe upon it breathe upon it let there be miracles let your people testify in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you lord bless your name jehovah in jesus name we pray it is done in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah we are a prosperous ministry are you hearing what i'm saying we are a prosperous ministry mysteriously prosperous by the hand of god i believe in prosperity are you hearing what i'm saying i believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty you cannot help the poor by being one of them are you hearing me and i want to pray for you please believe lift your hands see listen the irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing kingdom investments and your givings they open the heaven and position you and then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas favor wisdom the blessings of god upon your hands strength and long life hallelujah i want to encourage everybody please bring out a seed i can't pray for you for prosperity just like that please please this if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing just keep your seat please this is not some i won't help you let me tell you the truth i'm not going to help you it's not just about saying receive no please god has blessed you you can help somebody by your side please please bring out something that will cost you some of you are greedy and stingy see let me tell you something i pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life many of you think god is out to rob you can't outgive god hallelujah the secret of prosperity is giving it will never change there are many of you god has been speaking to you you won't listen i can't tell you how many times god has instructed me to empty my accounts if you see if your heart is still on prosperity god will never give you he said my son give me your heart until you conquer greed you are not entitled to handle true riches are you hearing what i'm saying please bring out a seed some of you will bring out something that will cost you let me tell you don't pity yourself don't pity yourself at all don't make foolish impulsive decisions are you hearing me we are not manipulating people don't make stupid decisions that you come outside and no no make some of you god is speaking to you right now some of you need to stand for your families honestly honestly see if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed it means we are fake something is wrong are you hearing me i tell you this this prosperity oil there is an oil it will come upon some of you in a fearful way 
police inside and outside i beg you if you don't have a seat can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seat please connect allow the person to hold your hands don't feel bad please stand up everybody this is a very serious thing lift your hands and lift your seat hear me solomon there was a sacrifice upon the altar and solomon said oh god oh god attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond and the bible says the glory the shekinah of god came and filled that room. i'm praying i'm praying see i tell you it 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 pains my heart it pains we want to the full gospel you must represent the kingdom in its entirety we don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money no are you hearing what i'm saying please lift some of you what will come upon you is the giving grace because honestly for some of you is greed greed even to yourself lift it up i want to pray oh god has given us this anointing and i want to pray my god it will happen it's going to come on like fire it will fall on many of you please help me my god i pray the oil of prosperity the power to get wealth at the count of three my god let it fall mightily right now one two three take it take it take it take it take it shake it, take it, take it, take it. i activate it outside i activate it let fire come upon your seed i give your seed a voice in the spirit it took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty we use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty it took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty we take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing psalm 66 verse 12 he said thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through waters and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place my god you know we are not fake we are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people i pray my god i give your seed a voice and i instruct it go around the earth gather your kind and return back to the owner i prophesy under this apostolic unction i speak to your seed go around the earth gather your kind go around the earth gather your kind go around the earth gather your kind and return a hundredfold hallelujah please cast your seeds with joy quickly help me please bring the offering basket hallelujah now i want to pray finally before the altar call breakthroughs there are families that need major breakthroughs are you hearing me there are some of you your the way from the day they gave birth to you you have never celebrated entering a house that god gave your own family embarrassment after embarrassment every time they start a building project rain will wash it or something satanic will happen breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away lift your hands the bible says thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left thou shalt break forth please receive it some of you need to call your loved ones and say look a prayer was prayed there are some houses that have been built 10 years 10 years is a cost it's a cost i'm telling you there are some people they are they are lecturers but they are still begging for money to feed 
this is, this is the yoke of bondage there are families that live from hand to mouth some of you as you are looking at me now you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family as young as you are it ought not to be so the bible says a good man liveth an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the god that brings breakthrough where is that god that changed the story of samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that god that instructed the prophet to say by this time my god and my king i pray for koinonia in the name of jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to abuja we send it to saria we send it to Kogi state we send it to lagos we send it to kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night this night i speak this night let this anointing go to families and create the garden of eden let it create the garden of eden hallelujah hallelujah how many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors how many of you have noticed it have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens how many of you know it's not normal see the bible says they know not you do not know what is happening this night this night the angel of the lord will move across abu are you hearing me altars of darkness will be destroyed see this is why god put centers like this to legislate on behalf of territories the apostolic grace is not for making mouth is for taking charge it's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer i want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible people are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next i pray for you see when the angel of death hear me when the angel of death came to goshen and egypt the angel of death killed everybody it's just that when he came he found out that some houses were already killed when he saw blood on their house he said these people are already died and he passed by i pray that blood of sprinkling that blood he said when i see the blood rapato koparatata not by accident not by terrorism in the name of the lord jesus i command supernatural preservation receive it now supernatural preservation receive it now every lecturer in apu and in all the institutions in this town because i already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the lord is ministering to me and i'm seeing that between now and december 4 i see four other professors going but we stop it we change it in the name of jesus we stop it we change it we stop it we change it we stop it he said the heaven of heavens the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord but the earth has he given now let me pray for you 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 have no covenant with death we are entering the ember months now hallelujah please see take seriously the things that happen here are you hearing me liver 
it's the power of God that is bringing her up stage it's a sign and a wonder just cover her hallelujah please we're out of time I want to pray for you lift your hands see listen hear me those inside and outside never believe hear me please now and I don't want you to feel bad I know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for Satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what I'm saying every time death is ravaging people God will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry I want to pray for you ember month is the time when people Look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speaks us that the blood of Jesus speak get better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to Lagos you travel to Kotono some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my Duguri, Joss, Bauchi come out of her now out, out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence I declare that throughout this year I have no covenant with the spirit of death say death hear my voice I am an ambassador and in the name of Jesus the seal of the blood is upon me I am protected my family members are protected father in the name of Jesus I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore I pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah you've not given your heart to Jesus please remain standing everyone here please remain standing hallelujah you have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ this is a family this is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life the Bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away many of us have been struggling you've been struggling some of you are born again you've given your heart to the Lord truly but there are encumbrances pushing you away from God right now please everybody stand I know you've been standing please stand for one last time inside and outside let's honor God and let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen young and old rich or poor as you hear my voice the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you and he's going to tell you it is time the Bible says in the day that you hear his voice harden not your heart you've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing I don't care what you have done there is a home for you tonight as everybody begins to appreciate them I want you to leave your seat and come out right now everybody come out from outside god bless you outside sister brother don't sit back people are coming thank you jesus 
Thank you, Jesus. Don't sit back. Don't wait for somebody to come. Please keep clapping, Koinonia. No devil will stop you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. They are coming. Please appreciate them. Don't sit back. There are a lot of you outside. God is speaking to you. Brothers, God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank God for the harvest. Keep coming. Keep coming. Shake it, take it, balanaba. The devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated. Keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.